Hello everyone, welcome back to another gameplay and review video. This is more of a demo review, I guess, but same idea. I was scrolling Instagram when I stumbled upon a post stating that a free demo was available for Tales of Rain Ravine. I hadn't looked into the game very much, so I didn't know really what to expect. But let me say, it's well on its way to being one of the best horse games out there. I am very impressed by how well this indie developer has done with the writing mechanics so far. Keep in mind, being that this is only a demo, things will likely change. I read on the Patreon that with the very new large increase in budget, these free or very cheap to use animations and models will likely be updated. Before I get into it though, if you are new to the channel, please consider subscribing. I would absolutely love to have you. Initially, when I first loaded in, I noticed the character model isn't the best, but I kind of consider this a placeholder for now. Same for the horse animations and model, not great. Everything has sort of a cartoony feel, reminiscent of Breath of the Wild. That's not necessarily a bad thing, though, if the realism is kept in the horses. And honestly, the scenery is quite beautiful. The demo consists of going through different training sessions, which teaches you the mechanics of the game. On the first training lesson, there were some cuss words, which really shocked me. Never have I seen that in a horse game, so it's definitely new. The dialogue from the training instructor overall is unnecessarily rash, although I did laugh a little when she told my character to grow some ovaries. During the first lesson, I learned that the horse will remain in the gate you put it in, except there is a meter that controls the speed of the desired gate. So for example, if you hold down W while walking, the meter charges up, taking you from a slow walk to an extended walk. This is true of all the gates in the game. This gives you more control of your speed rather than just having a default speed for walk, trot, and canter. D pulls the right rein and A the left. Pretty standard stuff. It was during the second lesson that I learned that this game uses leg yields to assist in turns and perform lead changes. At this point, my interest was more piqued. So, if you're turning right, you use D to pull the right rein and left click to use a left leg yield. This causes the horse to turn more sharply. I was impressed with this mechanic already at this point and it only got better from here. To trot, you use both the left and right clicks at the same time, as if to pressure the horse forward with your legs, and it's the same to go into a canter. The controls overall are very easy to use and learn, which I appreciated a lot. During the first few lessons, you're riding a horse named Milo. The instructor kept talking about how he's old and great for beginners because he's well-mannered and isn't afraid of any jumps. I took this with a grain of salt because I figured it was more story-based information and not actual relative to the gameplay. Boy, was I wrong. Each horse in this game has a different style of riding. They each have strengths and weaknesses that actually make a difference in your ride. The horse you ride after Milo is Spot. He is more hot than Milo, making him more reactive to your cues. With that benefit is a downfall though. When he sees a jump, he starts to bolt towards it. It's your responsibility to keep him steady and not let him go because he will tire himself out and not have his strides timed correctly. You do this by half halting or tapping S. He also has a fear of crate jumps. He will refuse to jump anything with crates unless you are pressing both mouse buttons in while you jump. It gets challenging to remember sometimes that you have to slow him with S while also pushing him forward with the mouse when approaching the crate jumps. This makes jumping in this game so much fun. You sincerely have to get to know the horse you are riding so you can know how to help them succeed. Some horses can turn really sharp with little to no decrease in their speed at all like Rose, the five-year-old. She is quick but green because she's so young. In her greenness, she has a tendency to overjump obstacles which will drain the horse's energy. While riding her, it's especially important to keep her speed steady so she won't overjump the jumps. The faster you're going, the higher they jump. The last riding lesson is an intro to dressage. There is not a lot to it in the game yet, but it did mention some dressage moves which makes me excited. The lesson had me practice some circles, diagonals, and halting on a letter. With the amount of thought going into the controls for the horses already, I can be confident in saying that I think the developer will give dressage some proper attention. 
The trainer also mentioned hunter jumping, which got me even more excited. That would be the end of the demo if you were not a Patreon member. I decided to sub so I could not only play the competition demo as well, but give some support to the creator. The difference in the competitions from the training sessions is that you do not get the meter down on the bottom to show you what gate you're in, and the game does not tell you where to go for your next jumps. It's reliant on you to know your horse and how fast they're going. This adds to not only the realism, but the difficulty level as well. When I first got the Patreon version, that unlocked Damon, which is a huge black horse. The instructor said that no one had got to ride him yet, so they didn't know his strengths or weaknesses. I stupidly took him on my first competition without even trying him in the arena first, and it did not go well. <laughs> he is a lot of horse. He sincerely charges at the jumps with very little way to restrain him. He's very quick, it can jump very high, but he was definitely too much horse for me at that time. I decided to get Spot and try again as I was very familiar with his style. I did much better with him. What's funny is when I first got on Spot, I thought he was too hard to control, but he is nothing compared to Damon. The fact that these horses have their own styles that successfully feel so different to control is so satisfying. This is the first game I've played that has this feel, and it's just so refreshing. I completed all the competitions with Spot except the last one. He refused the second jump, and it was because he could not physically jump it. It was too high for him. I got Damon again, and we competed pretty well. I knew what to expect from him that time, so even though he felt like a powerhouse plowing through the course, I was able to keep him relatively steady and we got away with only one fault from a combination jump he got too excited on. Now that I was getting the hang of Damon, it was hard to go back to Spot who felt so calm and easy. There are no horse care mechanics at this time and I don't know if there are any plans for some in the future or not, but even if there aren't, the writing is fun enough for me. I am extremely excited to see how it grows and changes as it has so much potential. I highly recommend you try this demo as it's something you should feel for yourself. I'll link all the information down in the description if you're interested. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, bye guys!